slow. Right now, it is time to bring in Mike Conzi with a check on sports. Good morning there, Mike. Good morning. So, uh, the Washington Nationals have gotten off to a roaring start this year. Yeah, they're one and three. Yeah, lost to Phillies again. Yeah. And look who hit the Well, home. we could talk a lot about roaring starts. Uh, the Astros are two and four. The Red Sox are one and five. However, they haven't played a game at home yet. And the Yankees are two and three. All with home games. Losing three out of five games to those juggernaut Orioles and Detroit Tigers. Now, uh, did you see what the Orioles keep winning, though? Well, yeah, they've only played five games. Well, they, and they beat the Yankees. Yeah. So are all of a sudden the Orioles a contender? No, but they're just, they're, they're just playing well at the beginning of the season. What can yeah. you say? What can you say? You know? Nothing. Well, you know, know, when they play teams like the Yankees, they maybe maybe that's all they need to do to win. Well, from last year to this year, you're absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, well, they got four wins now, and I'll take all bets that they don't win 60. You don't think they'll win 60? I think they'll win 60 this year. No, they're a 100-loss team. Two of the worst teams in baseball are the, are the Orioles and the, and the, uh, the Marlins. I watched the Marlins play the Mets last night. The Marlins are atrocious. They're a, a double-A team at best. They look more like a soccer team than a, Yank, than a baseball team, the way they kick the ball around. Absolutely horrendous. All right. Teams are embarrassments. Orioles are 4-1. and one. They, they probably won't be more than three games over 500 for the rest of the year. All right. We'll see what happens. Oh, I think it's a pretty, pretty safe wager. Uh, we like safe wagers around here, Mike. Oh, I know. All right, so where else do we go in sports? Um, that football league that you you, you were uh, talking about. I watch it every week, and it's you know and it not anymore. I know it doesn't surprise me. Uh, the NFL wants its cake and eat it too. They want they want a league to feed them, okay? But they don't want to help pay for the league that feeds them. Why should they? Because because you need that. You need a feeder. You the league. You know what the league that feeds the NFL is? It's college football. Yeah, but you need a league. If these guys were any good, they would be in the NFL. The, the minor leagues for football is college football. Well, I. If you I, want to go play somewhere else, you go play in Canada. Yeah, but I, I, it shouldn't have to be that way. You should be able to have a minor league, a regular, full setup in association with the NFL, a minor league football league. Now, because uh, in NFL. reality, this is a third rate league. If you couldn't make it out of college and you can't play in Canada, where else you want to play? The AAFL, whatever it is. It's a third-rate league. It's, it's, it's trash. It does not belong anywhere, any place, at any time. It's garbage. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a half a step above semi-pro football. How many games do you watch? None. Okay. It's not worthy of my time. Well, that's where you're wrong. The football was not bad. I well, I guess a lot of people feel like me because it's out of business. Well, it's out of business because, of, once again, there's no financial support. And you've got well, to... Why would you support a failing institution? Just because you think it should exist? Because there's a lot of failing institutions that got support early on in their life. Like, name three. Like the NFL, when it was first starting now, out. The owners ponied up their own money to keep it going. What the they didn't get money from anywhere else. The owners invested their own money to keep it going to see if they could make it, and the they did. The NFL wanted this league what because... What is the NFL? Is it, is it an almighty being that doesn't exist? It's, 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 is it a fictitious thing? The NFL is made up of his owners, and his owners put the money up to make the league exist. And they stayed through some hard times with the AFL and paid their money to get it where it is today. The NFL There's wanted, no interest in anything Mike, like this. Mike, the NFL wanted this league because they didn't want the WWE to have another one of those bizarre leagues, which they're going to have now. And then the owners decided to back out of it. That's three that quarters was, that's going to fail, too. Yeah. Well, I, I, that might fail, but all I'm saying is... No, it this will league, fail. League, this it's not might. It will. But, it'll, it'll be a novelty for two, three weeks, maybe a month, and then it goes spinning down the bowl just like this one. There's two places to play football other than the NFL. College, Canada. See you later. Nothing right. else. All right. 
Right. That's what you can say, but I don't agree with it. It's right. true. Has any other ones existed? Mike, just because you say it should be doesn't mean it should be. I'm not it's saying not it true. should be. I'm saying that it is. It does not exist. People aren't going to throw money away because they think that this thing should be. It can't exist, and it has nothing to do with the NFL. There's no need for it. There's no want for it. There's no want for this league. Okay. If you, if you think AAA baseball would survive without Major League Baseball helping you out. It's an entirely your... different thing. Uh, AAA not... is a feeder organization run by Major League Baseball to provide players for, their, for the higher teams. Major League Baseball pays for this. It yeah. pays for it. Yeah. You can't. Where are you going to get players? If, if, if you have a major league team where players get hurt, where the, where the, the seasons go on simultaneously, where are you supposed to get players? Yeah. Or are you supposed to have a 60 or 70 man roster? Yeah, just have the colleges do it like they're doing football. Colleges and colleges and amateurs. The college players do go to the majors or major league affiliation once they're drafted. Yeah. You're wrong. Uh, I- Okay, okay. That's a very bad analogy, making comparing baseball to football. No, it it's just two be. entirely different things. No, it shouldn't be. It's, it's the same to me. All right, where else? You're I wrong. Uh, okay. You won't admit it, but you know you're wrong. <laughs> do you ever admit when you're wrong? Sure I do. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, uh, are there any of our teams left in the NFL uh, playing in the playoffs? In the who? In the uh, National Hockey League. The Islanders. That's it, right? Yeah, well, the Rangers are, are are spinning in a bowl, and the Devils are a non-entity. So, yeah, the Islanders. Playoffs start, I think, next week. All right. It's a sad situation. And, uh, of course, we have uh, the one big hope for the Knicks, and that is the draft coming up. That, that Madison Square Garden falls into the abyss? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> They've got to get the first player they have to. Well, they're not going to get that kid, and if that if they get that kid, he'll turn out to be a stiff. All right, very the, the Knicks are in a no-win situation because they're the Knicks. Now, how about uh, what do you think is going to happen out in Seattle? Uh, Russell Wilson is giving the uh, uh, an April fifth fifteenth deadline for a new deal. What do I think is going to happen? You think they'll resign him? They have to. What's their alternative? I know you're right, but why then? Why let it get to this point? Why? Yeah. Because they're owners, they want to see if they can cheap out at any at any piece. Saving saving a million dollars is, is saving a million dollars. That that's all. It's 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 the way of the world. Everybody, very few players get signed when they're supposed to get signed. The the owners play games. They do what they have to do, and they're going to sign. If they don't sign Russell Wilson, who's going to be their quarterback? Johnny Manziel. Or maybe they can get some talent from that AAFL to replace there you them. Go. There you go. <laughs> There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a beer vendor that has a pretty good arm throwing those cans up the aisle. Maybe maybe he can do it. He's probably better than half the quarterbacks. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, boy. Where else do we have now? Now it's going to be interesting to see what the Yankees do. They're, they're playing terrible. They're not scoring any runs. they got a, a, a bunch of injuries. Um, are they going to panic and, and deal something that they shouldn't deal, or are they going to stand pat to see how it plays out? They'll, they'll but they got two big injuries. Uh, Andahar, I, I seriously doubt he'll come back from the year for the year. Severino's probably shot for the year. Um, Hicks is hurt. Um, Bird's hurt. They're, they're all getting hurt again. Um, what are they going to do? They'll they're do lucky they got Tulowitzki in the other infield that he picked up, or else they'd really be in dire straits. They'll do what they did last year. They'll they'll suck it through it and then then they'll come out with another hundred win season and won't win a World Series. Oh, if they keep getting injuries like this, there's no way they can get a hundred wins. They had, as many no way. In, they had as many injuries last year, Mike. It was the exact same thing. Don't tell me. No, they was, didn't. Yeah, they, they, you got okay. Stanton, Look Bird, back. Hicks, Andahar, um, Gr- Gr- Gregorius. They're all out. That's five yeah. starters you don't have. Yeah. They never at one point last year were sitting five starters. They were sitting there without three starters, and one of them was their big hitter. So This is yeah. five. Yeah, all right. This is yeah. five. There's only nine guys in the lineup. Okay, we'll see what happens at the end of the season. I'm all I'm you. stating is the truth. I'm not doing no anti-Yankee I, stuff here. I'm no just, team can sustain you. five starters out of the lineup and they're, win 100 games. They're not Impossible. Say, they won't have five starters out of the lineup for all year. Excuse me? They won't have five starters out of the lineup for all year. 
You're going to have two of them. So what? They had more than two last year that missed a, a, most of the year. And, and you, you, your starting shortstop, who's the best player on the team, might be back by August 1st. Mike. Might be back by Mike. August 1st. But you got enough talent to play through it. You'll see. I guess time will tell. And time will tell. Just like it did last year. They've got enough talent to play through it and get into the playoffs. We'll see. All right. We'll argue again tomorrow morning. Probably. Okay. Goodbye. Have a great day. <laughs> Mike Kazi with the check on sports this morning here on the Breakfast Club on Robin Hood Radio.